a catastrophic event has occurred. I had a decant of Lovers by Provence du Bois. This is a new fragrance and it has just spilled all over my carpet and now I have like a tenth of a decant left. So there's really no other time to film this video reviewing some new fragrances than now because yeah, I've just lost one of my contenders into the carpet. So hello, my name is Anya and I publish fragrance videos on this channel every single week. I'm absolutely obsessed with fragrance and I also have a TikTok and Instagram where I post much more regularly. So if you aren't already, make sure to follow me on those social media platforms. My username is Anishka Fragrances. Back to this. <sighs> of course, of course I spill the most expensive fragrance decant or the most expensive well, the decant of the most expensive fragrance I have to share in this video. Of course I spill it. Of course. Um, so we are going to cover this and we are also going to be talking about a lot of fragrances that are new on the market and have been hyped to a certain extent. And I'm going to be giving you my rundown as to whether or not they're worth it. But more than that, I'm going to be telling you what they smell like. I'm going to be giving you my perspective because there's so many amazing niche fragrances out there, but unfortunately, it can be a little bit difficult to walk into a store and smell these fragrances, especially if you don't live in a major city. I did have an opportunity to go visit New York City and I was able to smell a lot of these fragrances there, get myself a few uh, decant samples, and some of these fragrances I do have full-size bottles for. So let's get into it. Because I've already spilled it on my carpet and I was able to get some of it on the back of my hand, I'm going to talk about Fragrance du Bois Lovers first. Now, this is from the same collection as Cavort and Secret Trist. Both of those fragrances I also really love as well, and I do have larger decants of those perfumes. Now, Lovers is unusual because it has notes like passion fruit, ginger, a bit of a citry, a citrus in there, and it also has your florals like rose, jasmine, and saffron. So. This is one of those fragrances that's really beautiful, that's quite elegant. Is it my favorite out of the whole lineup that I smelled from Fragrance du Bois? And I'm talking specifically about Cavort and Secret Trist. No, I would say my favorite is still Cavort. But this is just one of those fragrances that has like this fruitiness to it. It has the florals, but the ginger here also gives it a little bit of an unusual touch, and I really do like it. And I'm quite sad that this is now completely gone, but I would I, I would say I like this one. Is it a love enough for me to even consider getting the full-size bottle, especially when you consider how expensive it is? No. But I knew I'd like this fragrance because of the ginger, and I, I, I do like this one. It, it is a good fragrance. I'm kind of sad about what just happened. But I'll survive. Because I'm a little bit scarred, I'm going to transition to some full-size bottles before I try fooling around with those dabbers because if I spill another dabber, I will lose it. This is, oh my gosh, this is Latafa's Yara Tous. Now, you might be familiar with the original Yara fragrance, which is supposed to be this like strawberry perfume, which I have personally never smelled. I'll get to that later. But uh, this is their third flanker from that lineup, I believe third or fourth. And this is a super hype fragrance right now, Yara Tous. It's been circulated, people are obsessed with it. This is a perfume that has mango, passion fruit, coconut, jasmine, heliotrope, orange blossom, and then in the base you have cashmere, uh, vanilla, and musk. So this is definitely been um, hyped up as a perfect mango fragrance for the summertime. And as far as affordable mangoes go, this is a really good option if you want something that's more on the tropical side and something that's not too expensive. So I'd say this is a great contender for a signature summer scent because it has that uh, mango uh, coconut scent profile that so many people know and love, but it also has a little bit more added complexity with the florals and it just smells really good. To my nose, it smells a little bit more powdery, so it's kind of like a powdery tropical scent. It's not straight up fruity, um, so it's definitely a little bit different in that regard. I really do like it. I've been wearing it. I've been enjoying it. I think it's a good one. Is it the best mango I've ever smelled? No. We'll get to that. <laughs> but this, as far as affordable mangoes go, is a great solid option, and I would recommend this perfume. 
Uh, the reason why I haven't purchased any other Yara perfume in the past is because the packaging is definitely not my cup of tea. I think it looks a little bit cheap and I'm just not a fan of it. I just think that this is a little bit too, too much for me. I'm not a fan of this packaging. But in person, I will say this, this looks a lot cuter than I thought it looked like online. Online, it just looks like this like bulky cylinder kind of thing that I don't even know what it is. In person, I do think it looks cute. I think it's a great one. And if you're looking for like a fruity mango fragrance for the summertime and you're also a fan of those florals I just mentioned, this is a good one to try. And this fragrance will be linked down below. I have it on my Amazon storefront. So if you're interested in shopping for it, you can find it on there. These are the little dabbers I got from Scent Bar when I went to New York City and I bought a full bottle. They gave me a lot of these free samples. Um, do I want to open one up? <laughs> this is very scary for me. First up, we're going to talk about Jusette's Clème de Ra... Clem... Maybe I should open one up. I'm an adult. Okay. Yeah, it's... Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're closing you up again. Okay, nothing bad happened. First up, we have Jusette's Crème de la Berry. Um, did I get the name right? La Vanille Crème de la Berry? Okay. Either way, this has been hyped up. People have been going crazy on it. I think it's sold out currently. People have been going bazookas over it. Now, what does it smell like? It smells like a strawberry cheesecake in the best way possible. It also has like, this strawberry milk quality. So I would say it smells more like strawberry milk than strawberry cheesecake now that I'm considering that. So it just smells like straight up strawberry milk with like cheesecake and primarily strawberry milk. This is an interesting one because this has been hyped up so much. It's currently sold out. People really have fallen in love with this. And based off of what people are saying, you would say this is the, you, you would think that this is the elixir of strawberry life. And I will say this, I love gourmands, but I don't know if I'd buy a full bottle of this. And here's why. It's just a very straightforward strawberry milk fragrance. So if you're into that, if you love that, then get a full size bottle. However, if you're like me and you're like, okay, I like it, but I don't know if I'd wear all the time. Maybe it's not for you. I'd get like a decant or a sample. I would definitely get like a 10 milliliter of this if that was available to me, if I can find a decant online. I think I'll, I think I'll go for that, but I do love the way this smells. So I don't know, it might change my mind. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying this is a bad perfume. It smells really, really good. And I think I'd like it better in the winter time. Maybe that's why I'm not like obsessed with it. It does smell good. I see why people like it. Is it the fragrance to buy during the summertime? Probably not in my opinion. Again, if you are a huge fan of strawberry milk, this is a, this is definitely one to try. I do feel that this is very nostalgic. I This smells to me like childhood, like getting your strawberry milk in your lunchbox. Like, it smells to me like that. And if you had a lot of that when you were a kid, you might really enjoy this. I personally did not, but I do love the way it smells and I like how it doesn't smell too artificial. It smells very photorealistic, quite beautiful, very gourmand, and I do like it. But then again, as I mentioned before, I do have my reservations about it and that's possibly because it is the summertime and this is not the kind of fragrance I'd be drawn to in the warm weather. Next up, we have Mango Nificent by Uniquely Luxury. I was super curious about that one and I'm so glad I have this dapper, dabber. I'm gonna do my very best not to spill it because if I do, I will be upset. This is quite possibly the best mango I have ever smelled. And I know that is, that, that is a very, very high claim, but it's definitely up there. Um, I just, I'm a bit of a, I guess I'm just a bit of a mango snob, right? Like I just want my mango to smell very hyper realistic. And while I absolutely love fragrances like Yara 2, I think that one is a really good one if you want something more affordable. I do have a few mango fragrances on my wish list, such as Zhirzhov's Cruise del Sur 2, which is like this green mango that I really, really like. And I would say this is now currently on my mango wish list as well. It just smells like a slightly spicy mango in the opening and then the dry down is like this creamy photorealistic mango. It just smells like a literal mango. This is done 
extremely well and there's just some complexity to it so it's not a straightforward mango. One of the notes here that I really really like is geranium. Geranium I think is giving it that like slight spiciness and I do love geranium in so many perfumes and this is one of them. Other notes include rose, jasmine, patchouli, musk, honey, vanilla, amber, moss, and sandalwood. It also includes bergamot and I really like this. I think this is really, really good. I quite like it. I'm saying I too many times, but if I had to choose one fragrance to buy a full-size bottle of, this would be it. I am very impressed by this, by this, and I should definitely, I would definitely recommend you get your nose on this one. It's very good. Next up, we have Clea by Brandt. This is a newer fragrance house. They are indie, and I found out about them on TikTok. Now, this is a newer fragrance from them and it's currently on back order because that's how many people have been purchasing it. And I bought this and I am quite impressed. It is a very unusual scent. It has a uh, note of bergamot, mandarin, olive leaf, magnolia, water lily, sea salt, amber, Egyptian musk, tonka bean, cedarwood, and papyrus. So there are some notes in there that I've never smelled in a perfume, one of them being papyrus, another being olive leaf. I don't think I've ever smelled that in a fragrance before. And to me, all notes aside, this smells like a white floral with a dryness to it. It smells like a dry white floral, kind of like a dry white wine. Um, and it has like this like, very interesting, I think like, it just is so interesting. It's difficult to describe this one because it smells so unique. So in terms of white florals, this is a very unique white floral and I have been enjoying this. I consider this a very refreshing scent. I think this is great for the summertime because of how dry it is. And I know that sounds really weird, but you know like how in the summertime, sometimes if, it, if you're sitting outside, you'll have like a dry white wine that's been chilled and it has like a certain like a refreshing quality. I mean, so long as you drink it slowly. Um, this, this has like a similar effect to me, in my opinion. So you have those white florals and then you have a dry aspect to it that is a bit different. It's just really good. I, I think this is a standout. I think it's very unique and I'm very impressed with what Brandt has done with this fragrance. This is really good and I'd highly recommend giving it a try if you are into white florals and you want something different. People have been obsessed with lemon tart is it worth it? It's really good. So this is a perfume by Theodorus Calatinus and it smells like a photorealistic lemon tart with lemon custard, uh, lemon zest, and with whipped cream on top. It smells gorgeous. I can even smell the pastry. This is absolutely delightful. If you're a fan of citrusy desserts, this is definitely one to check out. Right now it's a little bit difficult to get and I would say if, if you can get your hands on it, definitely do. But since so many people have been hyping this up, there are a lot of decants available. So get yourself a decant because this has been a bit of a polarizing scent and I, I understand why because the opening of this is very lemon but it's not lemon in like a typical citrus way. It's a lemon custard scent and it smells like very dessert like but the opening is very sharp. So when I first got this, I was like, wow, that's a little bit, that's a little bit intense. But then the dry down happened. I got like the, I got the pastry smell and I, I really like this and I have gotten used to that lemon opening to the point that now it doesn't bother me that much anymore. I mean, I actually quite like it. It smells gorgeous. And if you are looking at the scent pyramid and you're kind of like, okay, I'm not sure if this is a good gourmand scent for the summertime, let me tell you that the way this is formulated, I would say this is a great one for the summertime because it's not a cloying fragrance. It doesn't last all day. It actually lasts a few hours. So in terms of a gourmand for summer, that makes this a pretty good option because it's not going to be too abrasive in the summer heat. Do I wish this lasted longer? Yes, because I just love the way it smells. And I love the creaminess of it. And I love like the lemon, 
I also really love citrus desserts, so I think that's why I like this so much, but I think this smells highly unusual. I would definitely look into getting this one, especially if you love citrus desserts. All right, that's the end of this video. These fragrances have been so hyped up and I really wanted to give you the lowdown as to whether or not I think they're worth it and just give you a more realistic idea of what they smell like. Yes, we had a few hiccups down the road. Well, one major one. But thank you for sticking with me. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Check out some of my more recent videos. I posted one recently where I talked about my scent or my perfume haul, if you will. I recently hauled a whole bunch of fragrances that I bought this month and I did film that video and I also inserted in the new reviews. So if you're interested in checking that one out, definitely do so. And I also have my top 10 affordable summer fragrances for you to check out as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you next time. Bye.